The most important message for colon cancer is that we believe it's almost a preventable illness. If patients are adequately screened by good endoscopists underneath the correct time, we can probably cure the majority of cancers by removing the polyps before they become cancer. Statistically, it's shown that your chance of dying of colon cancer is less if you have good colonoscopies done by a good endoscopist. And at Riverside, our endoscopists are well above the national average for, for finding polyps, which is a key marker as to their quality. And I think that's the big push that we need to have right now. Colon cancer as a whole has risen in the younger population, which is one of the reasons the United States Preventative Task Force has reduced the screening age from 50 years old to 45 years old. There is a significant amount of youth that are dealing with colon cancer and don't recognize that they're being affected by it. With colon cancer being such a horrible disease, a lot of my patients just want to sit on the idea of screening for it, right? Don't sit on colon cancer. And it's important to have that conversation with your primary care physician so that you can go through that shared decision-making process of what's best for you, because not screening is not an option. Quoted adenoma detection rates for a screening colonoscopy uh, range anywhere from 25 to 30% to even up to as high as 60% for some high uh, polyp finding providers. But there's very few colonoscopies where we're gonna find a colon cancer. So it's really important that we, you know, go and look and take off those polyps, but you don't have to worry that, you know, you know, I'm gonna go for my colonoscopy and I'm, they're gonna find a colon cancer. The idea is that we're gonna prevent the colon cancer. There's very few people who end up being diagnosed with colon cancer, especially if they follow the appropriate steps for screening. When talking to patients in the community, I often hear people express concern about um, the intolerance of the preparation for the procedure. And uh, that good news is the prep is a lot easier than it used to be. It's designed so that Patients can tolerate it uh, easily, and, and that ensures a proper cleanout. A colonoscopy may seem like a scary endeavor, but in reality, 99.9% .9 of patients that come for this, they say, oh, I don't even know why I was so scared for this procedure. Um, you're comfortable during the test, and essentially you wake up and, and you, you feel fine. Basically, when we perform your colonoscopy, we use the colonoscope, which is a long camera, to look through your colon and remove the polyps before they turn into cancer. We work closely with the pathologists who are gonna be looking at the polyps that we remove under the microscope. So it's really important for the patient to really have a good understanding of what's going on so they can alert their family about anything of importance uh, and as well follow a really good appropriate surveillance interval to follow. So as a pathologist, one of the most rewarding aspects of my job is to try to diagnose lesions at an early stage when they're most curable, most preventable. And then unfortunately, if they have progressed to cancer, then give all the necessary information to our colleagues, whether they're the surgeon, the medical oncologist, the gastroenterologist in this case, or radiation oncologists. We want to give them all the information necessary so that they can give the patient the most appropriate care for the tumor that they have. And so therefore, it increases your chance for a good favorable outcome. Not only when you come in for a colonoscopy might you be saving your own life, but you may be saving the life of your family members because now you know what your history is. Now you know um, what you're, if you have diagnosis or uh, if you're a polyp producer, and that's important and it may save the life of your family. You know, I've seen some patients that really are delayed in coming because they're fearful of what's going to be found. And there's nothing better than knowing what the answers are. Uh, once the patient gets in there and we determine um, if there is or is not anything going on, it it can now be addressed. Now you have a team of care providers that can, can take care of the problem and you can be rest assured that you're gonna be in good hands at Riverside.